What's happening? It's your guy, King David from Trap Monsters, TrapMonsters.com. Here today, I'm going to be doing the Super Producers Cheat Sheet Volume 2. And here today, we're going to be going over some of the plugins and things I mentioned in the first uh, video a few years, well, a year or so ago back. But there's some new things and new um, and new techniques that you can uh, lay down chord progressions and scales. And uh, you might want to check this out, man, because this vid is going to be lit. Let's get straight to it. So here we are looking at the Complete Control S49 board. And um, one thing about this board is that the reason why I got it off top because it does the scales and the chords. Um, but then they took it another step further, maybe about a few months ago, where they added, where they implemented modes. But it only works in standalone for the Complete Control or in other DAWs outside of the machine as of right now. So how you get to this function here is um, you will first hold shift and hit scales it will bring up this page right here where you can see your scales and um well actually your root note key and then your scales should i say um one thing about the new update that i do like about it is that like i said they implemented modes and beforehand you just had your major minor and then you had your jazz and phrygian and um the regular standard uh chord progressions uh, Japanese Gypsy Arabic and uh, of course your whole tone uh, whole notes and half notes uh, stuff like that but now you just touch this uh, button right here knob and just turn it you go into modes as you can see and then from here you have your Iorian your Dorian your Phrygian um, Lydian Mixolydian um, and all the other, you know, different variations of modes, your Phrygian, all the different stuff um, that comes in modes. Um, I'm pretty sure you can see the light guide right here kind of flips through as I'm moving around, so. That's another good thing I like about this board because it shows you exactly what keys it is and um, it, it automatically kind of corrects uh, your key plan um, on this song. Sort of like uh, the Autotonic. Autotonic does it. Um, oh, there's another software I just reviewed that does that as well. Uh, Cthulhu does it. I think there's another one that does it. So, but does the uh, key correction. And speaking of software, actually, um, Logic actually implements um, the correcting of keys as well. So you can set it to a key and also scale, and um, it corrects on its own as well. So let me show you that real quick. Sorry for the back and forth, but I want to show you all of it at once. But this is pretty much the hardware. Um, and of course, machine does the chords and. The machine jam it does the scales as well um, and actually it does kind of a um, the machine jam actually which is right here it actually does the um, the uh, strumming functions um, whereas if machine and complete control doesn't do strumming at all but the machine jam do so uh, just to throw that in there well let's get over to logic all right, so here we are in Logic Pro X, and um, I'm using the instance of uh, Contact. The instrument is inside of that. It's going to be um, the Trap Influence um, by Bitworks. I just did a review on that the other day, um, so go check that video out <clears throat> for more of the uh, walkthrough on that particular uh, Contact library. So first thing first, how to get into Logic and the music theory behind Logic is <clears throat> first thing is you want to create an empty MIDI region and you just right click onto the track and it'll pull up this green um, region right here and then you just stretch it out to the length of uh, the bars you want after that you can just double click inside of it it brings up your piano roll now you can set the duration of the, uh, the music length that you want 
Um, me particularly, I'm gonna go for a half note and um, I'm gonna change the key here, maybe like an E flat Phrygian, maybe do a, a, a Dorian Mixolydian. Oh, that's fine. Well, these are your different scales right here. So, you have your major, your minor, your chromatic, um, your harmony, uh, minor and majors, pentatonics, blues, all that different type of scales. Of course, there's a little bit more scales <clears throat> than this right here, but it's a good amount to get started. So, today I'm just going to go ahead and use the uh, a D sharp Phrygian scale. And uh, what you want to do is, you want to come right here, click on this tab right here, and select the brush tool. From here, you hold down your command button. As you're holding it down, you just click in your note. Now, once you're holding down your command button, it's going to put it in key. Or whatever that scale is, it's going to keep it in key. And so you can build your chord progression this way, sort of like how you see them guys in FL, they kind of put their chord progressions in. I know FL just came with a new feature um, where it has the uh, chords and scales. I think they may have borrowed that from Logic, I'm not for sure. Um, but Logic have had this function for quite some time now. And um, a lot of people don't know that. But So you can hold a uh, command and like I said, you write down your uh, chord progression this way. I don't know how this is going to sound. I'm just going to wing it and see how it sounds. There's the train wreck right there. So. <laughs> Maybe this note will come out and come up. There we go. Maybe go up a little bit. Here's the nice thing about um, Logic is actually it does the um, the um, a correction of the keys if you're playing on a MIDI controller as well. So I'm on my S49 keyboard and I may do the melody top end piece to it and you will see right here like I'm just going to use all white notes. I'm just going to hit all white notes. And if you're used to um, if you own a complete control board, you know that function comes with it automatically. But um, in this instance right here, I'm not using the complete control software at all. I'm just straight in contact and logic, but As you can see it was hitting some of the black notes and I just ran my finger straight across All white notes so logic automatically um, changes and corrects the key that you're supposed to be playing in just using your MIDI controller so pretty dope function right there for logic uh, let's get to the other softwares in machine all right so here we are in machine 2 um, software where actually to be honest about it I mean machine itself gives you chords and scales and things like that they haven't implemented the modes quite yet in the machine they did Although they did do the uh, the modes and uh, the different type of scales and uh, complete control S uh, Siri keyboards, let's get to the uh, software that um, that you're able to use. Um, I'm I'm running a Mac, so <clears throat> I'm pretty sure most of these uh, these uh, VSTs and software that I'll be showing today is also Windows compatible as well. So further ado, let's go ahead and um, start off with. The improviser Vader, and um, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right or whatnot. I think that's a, a German name or whatnot. But um, <clears throat> what you do here is pretty much different, different type of chord of progressions right here. And here's your keys. You can just drag these notes 
down to here and uh, select play. But once you get your chord progression in, and I think this goes up to four bars, I think you can extend it out a little bit longer than that. Uh, for sure. Yeah. By this slider right here. Um, actually, if there's a, a video or something like that you want me to do on this, um, just leave a comment <clears throat> on any of the uh, VSTs that I'm doing review on today. Um, but uh, yeah, let's get back to the video. So, like I said, you can change the keys from here. Um, you can also have it set up to trigger by um, your keyboard, your MIDI controller keyboard, um, to trigger these notes here. Um, but at the same time, like I said, you can drag these notes down and put them on the grid, and uh, it'll actually play in time. And that you can delete it. So, you might want to skip that one, per se, and come here and maybe do a chord progression on the one. Playing it play out. So that's pretty much the, the short gist of um, how this VST works. Like I said, there is a drag and drop uh, function as well for this particular uh, VST. So let's get to the next one. Okay. The next one right here is Tone Space. I've covered this in the last video as well um, in the last uh, Secret of Producer Cheat Sheet. Um, video but this right here is a really really good tool and it's actually free so this is a free download and all these uh plugins that i'm doing a review on and uh, going over today i will be leaving a link in the description for all of these uh software for you to go purchase or download for free if they have free uh content for you or even a demo as well so <clears throat> so in here you can change the key up make it sharp flat or regular um, and you can choose your different kind of uh, styles of uh, scales right here. So, pretty dope. And like I said, I believe this has a drop and drag function on this. I don't know for sure. Um, I haven't really worked around with this as much. I am pretty savvy with it for a little bit of what understanding of what it do, but so far it's getting the mini notes and how it play out. I don't, I'm not for sure how that works with this, but I have opened it up a few times in uh, different sessions and worked with it. So pretty dope uh, VST to uh, look out for. And like I said, it's free. So check that out and go to the next one. The next one here I did a review on just shortly a while ago. Um, it's by a company called Studio Links VST, and this is a standalone um, app that works with inside any DAW that you own. Um, but like the others, it do give you uh, chords and scales. It just doesn't give you a different type of um, root keys, like if you wanted uh, that you actually do. Yeah, flat and sharp, yeah. So, <clears throat> but what it was is that I would like to see a little bit more um, scales right here than just your major and minors. And um, I'm pretty sure it's something they can just fix with the inside, um, the, uh, just a, a software update or something like that. But uh, it's pretty dope within itself too. So you can just change the root note key and um, if you want the flats or whatnot, and you can affect the each individual uh, chord progression that is right here and you can demo it and stuff like that. So, but you'll just drag the file out from this cross arrow right here and just drag it out and put it into your session. Pretty dope, um, just to get it started or whatnot. Like I said, the link to this particular VSC will be in the description as well. Let's go to the next one. Now, here's another good one right here. I've kind of grown to love um, throughout the, the few years or whatnot, and it's actually got a lot more attraction since um, the, the few years since I've covered it. Um, but this is Cthulhu right here, and it, it does arps, it does the chords. Um, let me see here. You also can see the keys and stuff like that, the root note keys to uh, the chords that you're hitting. Um, <clears throat> it's not very clear when you get the. Uh, the software exactly what type of chord you're hitting on this you can have to just wing it and look at it um, in the chart right here you can also program in your own 
uh, cords and scales and stuff like that as well in this particular VST. Um, but like I said, it gives you arps and cords and scales and stuff as well. And there is third party, um, as you can see, um, developers just made different core progressions and, and things like that for you to purchase as well. So uh, just out on the market. So another dope thing to have. Um, <clears throat> let's get to the standalone apps. The first one I have in standalone is Autotonic. I did a, uh, a video about this. Now this I use pretty much all the time. I'm gonna actually have it set up every time I turn on my computer, power it up, that it automatically launches and it opens up. Um, but this is a pretty dope uh, tool to have in your computer um, to use. And it is, like I said, window and Mac friendly. So you guys can pick that up. I actually think um, the last time I was on the website that they have a demo. I'm not for sure how long that will be, but I think they have like a 15 day uh, free trial that you can use or whatnot. Don't quote on me too hard about that, but the last time I looked on the on the site about a month ago, it was a, a demo version of this on the site. So <clears throat> with this right here, you can just change the root note key. And you have um, all your keys here with your sharps. Um, I would like to see some flats or options for flats in here, but that's okay because you can actually kind of program them in here by using the uh, different uh, uh, scale mode uh, area right here where you can kind of implement and change what keys you want to add to be affected. And this right here kind of does a situation where you have all your different kind of scales right here in the modes for those different types of scales, or should I say presets for those scales that you would have here. That's the best way to explain it. Um, and then there's a short description for that particular scale that would be right here. So pretty dope situation right here. Like I said, you can still add in and kind of customize it the way how you want to. Um, and any kind of scale or key that you want it in. Um, but like I said, this is music theory, um, uh, VST based uh, plugins and uh, they pretty dope. So we'll go to the next one. This right here is Harmony Navigator. Now this right here, when I first started off in music production, they had this out and it's pretty old looking. I guess the GUI wanted to be updated, <clears throat> but nonetheless, it's still effective and it does a lot, a lot of good stuff. Um, probably a little bit more on the chords and scales than most of the other VSTs and things that I have because it it, it breaks down the theory all the way down to the science um, and gives you any kind of a chord progression that you want literally so I think it's pretty dope I think you can copy for like 50 bucks for a LE version of it um, then they have a full version for I think close to 100 bucks or two I think I don't know for sure but <clears throat> I have the LE version, the LE version of it, and um, it gives me a lot of good stuff in here for what for what I'm wanting. Um, but like I said, you can change the keys from here, and then you can choose your different chord progressions. And you can actually hear them by just clicking on the, the chord progression itself. And you just click and drag it up to the top of the timeline, and then export your MIDI files out, um, your MIDI chord progression out of the uh, software itself and put it into uh, any choice of DAW you choose with the instrument. So I thought that was pretty dope. And I've used this uh, a lot of times when it comes to chord progressions and things like that. This is a go-to for me. Okay, so the next one is gonna be Easy Key. They pretty much uh, have made uh, a chord progression uh, standalone app and it also works inside any DAW as well um, but what you can do in here is you can see you got different genres of uh, music right here and then there's the styles with inside of that right along with tempo so whatever type of tempo you create in the end or style you have something there for you so you can kind of demo See what I'm saying? So, but in here, like they have some that are, um, let me stop this. They do have some that are maybe like song structure where you have your intro, verse, pre chorus, chorus, and bridge. Um, some of their patches are set up like that. And you can also 
also change those chord progressions on the fly. So if I'm in the A sharp, I can change that to maybe a D minor. And of course you have your, your circles of fifth wheel right here with a little bit more um, functionality right here. You can invert this, uh, the chord progression, um, the bass note of the chord, all that. So it's pretty deep and it goes and it touches on music theory a lot on here as well. They have different pianos and <clears throat> things like that as well. So pretty dope, pretty dope VST to have. You change the key out and uh, time signature, major or minor, you change the tempo or whatnot. So pretty dope situation right here. Like I said, you can drag and drop this MIDI information as well. Just literally just drag and drop it into your choice of DAW that you want to work in as well. Okay, so the next one and the last one of the software end of it would be the uh, Odyssey. Um, VST and this VST right here particularly you would need um, Wi-Fi or some kind of an internet connection for it because it also uh, connects online to be able to give you a lot more further advanced um, things with um, the chord progressions and and uh, melodies and things like that so you can select your keys from here and it's kind of like a I like to say really it's kind of like a, a standalone VST slash DAW because you can actually record your melody or chord progression into it and save it as a preset. And um, it, this thing just does a lot, man. It does a whole lot. And that also, you can bring your third party VSTs into it. You can change the time signature, you can draw in your notes and things. So. See what I'm saying? So, I mean, you know, I'm not doing nothing spectacular or anything like that, but um, like I said, you can alter the grid value and draw on your notes. You can actually use your MIDI controller and draw and uh, write inside of it. And the reason why I say it's kind of like of a, a DAW because down here you can actually program, program in drums. Um, you actually have another part in here, another section in here where you can have like a bass line. And so, starting off, if you want to, however you want to write, you can write with chords first or melody. And, um, and actually, these are kind of like considered tracks because, as you can see, is you can mute it or solo the um, the track, or you can also put a cappella um, vocal into it as well. Pretty dope, and you can add more tracks into it. So, um, yeah, pretty dope situation right here. So it's pretty much like I said, a DAW slash standalone VST that gives you music theory. Um, but also, if you if there's a situation, I, I figured out too though that um, if you don't have your computer with you, you can log in using your um, I believe you have to use your Google Chrome or Safari, whatever uh, browser you're using. You can just log in and go to the account. Um, to log into the website and then sign in and then this will come up in your as a browser and you can still work so you don't even have to have your computer with you you can just kind of do this all on the fly um, over the internet and then once you get back home to your computer or to your studio you can open up your session up and continue continue what you were working on pretty dope stuff different type of um, sounds and stuff in here they come with a slew full of sounds inside of it but then like I said you also can bring your third-party uh, VSTs into it as you can see I have expand in here and arteria uh, uh, d16 group different uh, VST makers and software developers in there so pretty dope situation man sorry so now that concludes this whole video man and I hope you guys enjoyed all the VSTs and the secrets and stuff like that that I revealed in this uh, secret producer's cheat sheet. Let me know in the comments, man, how y'all feel about the VSTs and the plugins that I showed you guys today and the different techniques that you can be able to implement in your production when it comes to melodies, chord progressions, things like that. So make sure y'all uh, drop a like, share the content. Until next time, it's your guy, King David. I am the plug. Peace.